Evet arkadaşlar herkese merhabalar. Yarım kalan serilerinizden birisi Sherlock Holmes suç ve cezada ki son davamızda oynayalım. Bu serimizi de bitirelim. Şimdiki davamız yarım ay yürüyüşüymüş. Hadi bakalım. Daha sonraki oyunlarını da oynayacağız. Çok sevdiğim bir yani güzel beğendiğim bir seri. Beğendiğim bir oyun. Bakalım. Yarım ay yürüyüşü. Böyle dedektiflik oyunlarını seviyorum. Where are you going, Holmes? Have you been invited somewhere? We have been invited, Watson. We have. Where to? To the Baker Street Irregulars annual dinner. They sent us an invitation. It is on the table. A dinner? How could those street urchins afford anything like that? I can't understand your interest in them, Holmes. They're dirty. They wouldn't hesitate to steal your wallet. They... Watson, you should be excited. It is a secret dinner. Its location changes every year. Read the menu. Sounds mouth-watering. All right. We, the secret police of Baker Street, invite you, Sherlock Holmes, and Dr. Watson to our annual dinner. Menu, entree... Frozen rat head salad. Is, is this a joke? Not at all. Pray continue. Main course. Sow's udder in Danny Nutcracker's way. Ah, oh, sounds disgusting, Holmes. Hedgehog goulash. Street turnips in homemade juice. And it goes on. Ah, I can hear them on the stairs now. Oh, well, we can't go there. We can't eat that. Watson, you'll hurt the feelings of those poor children. We have to go. Oh, Mr. Holmes. It is fine, Mrs. Hudson. Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, Dr. Watson is getting ready. He will be delighted to join us. You don't look well, my young man. Is there something wrong? Don't tell me the dinner is cancelled. Mr. Holmes is my brother, Leighton. He's in a prison cell. They say he's killed two men. You have to help us, Mr. Holmes, because I know he didn't do it. Where is he now? From what I've heard, they took him to the yard and they gave him a good beating already. You know what they're like. They'll hang him. They won't look any further. Holmes, we have to help him. Well, and forget about the dinner. Wiggins, I'll take the case. You're fantastic, Mr. Holmes. I'll be waiting for you at the crime scene. You'll be there, right? It's on Half Moon Street in Whitechapel. Very well. Yemeğe gidecekken davaya gidiyoruz o da güzel. Görevlerimiz yarım ay sokağındaki cinayeti çöz, olay mahalleni incele ve yarım ay sokağındaki tanıklarla konuş. Scotland Yard'da Layton'ı sorgula ve eşyalarını incele. Baker sokak çetesinden genç Wiggins ailevi bir mesele ile ilgili Holmes'un tavs tavsiyesine başvurur. Büyük kardeşi Layton Çifte cinayetle suçlanarak polis tarafına tutuklanmıştır. Şu an hiçbir şeyimiz yok tertemiz. Ya bunlar bir önceki şeyler. Evet hadi bakalım nereye gidiyoruz. Bundan konuşacak mıyız? Holmes, poor little Wiggins needs our help. Ablam yine burada. Hiç pencereden ayrılmıyor. Merak ettim akşamda pencereye çıkıyor mu diye. Hello Toby. All you need now is a shawl and a mop cap and you could be Mrs. Hudson's younger sister. Hadi bakalım olay mahalline. Şuradan bir A map git. of London and the surrounding area. It could be useful. Buradan gideceğiz o zaman. Yarım ay soka. Bu oyunda da takip etmeyen yeni takip eden arkadaşlar için söyleyeyim. Bunda da pek çok gidişat var, çözüm olayı var. Size hangisi mantıklı geliyorsa yani suçluyu suçsuz gibi gösterebiliyorsunuz. Suçsuzu da suçlu gibi yani yaptığınız hareketlerle. 
Bakalım bu bölümde ne olacak? Evet. Locked. Şuradan mı gideceğiz? Evet, Half Moon Street diyor. Ama şu tarafa da bir bakalım. Hop. Hemen geri gönderdim. Yok, oyun kısıtlı zaten. Locked. Bize illa hedefe git diyor. Boyunun da yani şu an herhalde yenisi çıktı mı çıkacak mıydı tam hatırlayamıyorum ama bir bundan sonra çıkan bir oyunu var o burası da baya bir karanlık. Uh, please, gentlemen, leave the scene now. Oh, Mr. Holmes, is that you? Uh, good evening, uh, Constable... Constable Marrow. I was here with Inspector Abiline during the Ripper case, Mr. Holmes, back in 88. But then this is nothing like that case. With this one, we've got the murderer, the weapon and the statements which speak for themselves. Of course, Marrow. But you know that appearances can sometimes be deceiving. Kurbanlar kim? Who were the victims? The two men here, both shot. The stab fellow was Brian Vercotti, a well-known ruffian. The other, Kenneth Butler, a jeweler by trade. Görgü tanıkları. Are you spoke of statements? You have witnesses? Well, I was there, so I gave my own statement. And then there were two other witnesses who said they saw the killer Chapman. Mr. Turner, a gentleman who lives in that flat over there. And Polly Powell, a flower seller who was over at the far side of the street. Oh, sokak baya geniş. So, Constable Marrow, I should be delighted to hear your testimony. I was standing at the north side of Half Moon Street. That was the side that you came from. But you would have been unable to observe this part of the street, where we are standing now. That is correct. But I saw the two victims slowly enter Half Moon Street, and then shortly after, the fireworks started. A few minutes after that, the fellow Chapman rushed towards me and ran into Half Moon Street. Mm, please continue. I didn't pay attention, but... Suddenly, I heard a woman's cries and police whistles on the other side of Half Moon Street. I rushed over there and I saw the two dead bodies on the ground. When I reached Whitechapel Street, I saw Leighton Chapman. He'd been caught by two police constables. Havai fişek varsa aynı anda silah da patlamıştır. Did you hear the shots? I didn't hear any shots. The fireworks were all over the sky. They were so loud I couldn't hear anything else. Now, what were the fireworks in honor of, uh, Constable? Well, uh, today's Queen Victoria's birthday, Mr. Holmes. Ah, uh, yes, I appear to have lost track of the days. It is May now, of course. Yaramaydaki detaylar. Uh, Constable Marrow. What else caught your attention while you were running through Half Moon Street? I saw nothing but rats, and I took the time to light every corner with my lamp. Niye lambalar da mı kırmışlar acaba? Did you happen to look up at Mr. Turner's window when you were on Half Moon Street at that time? Yes, I saw that the window was open, but no one was there. It was dark in the room. Constable, your statements have been of great value to me. Adam baya bir şey söyledi. Polis memuru bizim geldiğimiz noktadaymış. Şeyleri duyunca buraya doğru koşmuş. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. İnceleyelim bakalım. He tried to stop the bleeding with his hand. Death was not instant. Bu kadar yeşil olduysa tamamlanmıştı mı? Yok. The bullet penetrated his stomach 
a dreadful wound. Etrafta A tattoo from Westgate Prison. Vercotti must have done some time there. Allah Allah, hala bir şey mi var? Brian Vercotti suffered greatly. What a terrible way to die. Yüz ifadesinden anladı. Oh, beyninden yemiş. The bullet struck his head. This man didn't stand a chance. This is an ordinary key. I wonder what kind of door it opens. Bir de bana şimdi şeye e, başka görüş açısına geç diyor. T'ye basıyorum. Sıkışmış nesne ağaç parçası. A piece of wood that has stuck between the cobblestones. Let us take a closer look. Hmm. This shard of wood is quite new. Allah Allah, odun parçası mı? Ryan Turner. Good evening, Mr. Turner. Oh, I, I heard Constable Barrow reply to you as Mr. Holmes. Are you that detective, gentlemen? I've heard of you. And uh, well, I know things. Things about this evening. Excellent. Might we hear your story? Could you tell us everything that you may have seen or heard? Uh, I was already in bed when the fireworks started. A few moments after, I clearly heard two gunshots from outside. Please continue. I quickly got up and I grabbed the lamp from my nightstand and I rushed towards the window. I looked down and I saw two bodies. And there was a man with a gun who was standing nearby. Where exactly? Well, near this body. Did he notice you? I don't think so. He rushed towards Whitechapel Street without looking around. Size bir şey söyleyeyim mi arkadaşlar? Bu adam yalan söylüyor. Nereden şey yaptı diyeceksiniz. Polis memuru ne dedi? Cama baktığımda cam karanlıktı dedi. Yukarı doğru baktığım zaman. Ama bu adam da diyor ki yatağımdan kalktım el şeyimle lambamla cama çıktım diyor. Allah Allah. Bakalım. Mr. Turner, did you see anyone else in the street? No, I saw no one but that man, the murderer, the fellow they caught. Bak hemen şeyi yaptı. Suça attı mı? Were the two shots you heard consecutive? Yes, there was a very short pause between them and, and, and they sounded different somehow. It seemed to me that the second shot was louder than the first. That is an interesting comment. Evet, bence de. Mr. Turner, what were your actions after you stepped up to the window? I was afraid that the man with a gun might return. So I stayed close to the window till I saw the policeman coming in the half moon from Whitechapel. Then I walked out to tell them everything I saw. Allah Allah. Sonra da pencerede bekledim diyor. Polis diyor ki karanlıktı diyor. Madalya mı? Evet. 
Toparlamak vay. Adam nereden neyi buldu lan? Bu ney eksik düğme. You have helped us a great deal, Mr. Turner. Şu B'ye basalım bakalım ne toplamışız. Farklı atışlar. Bay Turner iki farklı ardışık atış duydu. İkincisi ilkinden daha yüksek sesliydi. İki kurban. Verotti ve Kentli. Dar ve karanlık yarım ay sokağında Grid Ali ve Whitechapel High Street arasında bulunan yerde vurulmuş halde bulundu. Turner'ın görüş açısı. Bay Turner, Layton polis, Layton'ın polis Vice, Vice Chapel'ın yönünden gelen tarafından yakalanana kadar camın kenarında durduğunu söyledi. Memur Marrow cesetlerin yanından koşarak geçerken Bay Turner'ın penceresi dikkat etmiş, pencerede kimseyi görememiş, karanlıkmış. Bah benim dediğim şey. Ne çıkacak buradan? Aynen. Çelişkili ifade. Bay Turner polis gelene kadar dairesindeki penceresinde durduğunu söyledi. Ancak bu durum memurun ifadesine ters düşüyor. Çünkü memur pencerede kimseyi görmediğini söyledi. Bilmiyorum ben onda onu birleştirdim ama. Eh sıkıştırayım mı? Mr. Turner. You have stated that you remained close by your window after the crime, is that correct? Oh, yes, Mr. Holmes. I stayed at my window until the policemen arrived to examine the dead bodies. Turner'ın çelişkisi. That is very interesting, Mr. Turner. Constable Marrow stated that he did not see anyone at the window when he was running through Half Moon Street. Oh, oh, well, I think Constable Marrow and me, we might have been distracted by the whistles and shouts coming from Whitechapel. We could have missed each other somehow. Do you understand what I mean? It was a bit of a stressful moment to tell you the truth, sir. Allow me to form my own theories, Mr. Turner. Would you mind showing me the view that you had from your window? Uh, not, not at all, Mr. Holmes. Please, follow me. Ama böyle bir adam niye iki kişi ölürsün ki? Bir de o var. Mr. Turner appears to live very modestly. Bay Turner ile konuş ve dairesinin manzarasını kontrol et. Çelişkili ifadelerini açıklayacak bir şeyler olmalı diyor. Kullanım alanı bul. Butler'ın cesedinin yanında kaldırım taşında sıkışmış halde bulunan odun parçası. Turner'ın çelişkisi. Bay Turner bütün zaman penceresi yanında durduğunu söylüyordu ancak Member Marrow'un ifadesine göre Turner'ın penceresi karanlık ve boştu. Bay Turner'ı topallayarak yürüten zayıf bir ayağı var. Aa. Bir saniye. Tam ben katili buldum mu? Çok erken katili bulmam için. Bu adam topalsa bastonla mı yürüyordu? Bağlar nölecesinden alınmış olan metal anahtar. Şunla şu ilişkili olabilir arkadaşlar. Bugün kafam çok iyi çalıştı neyse. Şimdi şömineyi bir incele bakayım. This fire is dying out. It was last tended to over an hour ago. Ha böyle bir şey gözükmüyor. Şuna bastığımız zaman mı? Yanmış kağıt. The papers are almost entirely burned. I am unable to see what's written here. 
These words are illegible. The papers were thrown into the fire just a short while ago. Tabii bu hemen adamı suçlayamayız ki. Daha çok delil bulmamız lazım. Bu pencere o pencere mi? So, that's the view Mr. Turner had when he opened the window. The dead body of Kenneth Butler. Brian Vercotti's contorted corpse. Vercotti. Mr. Turner had a perfect view of the crime scene. He saw the bodies clearly and Leighton Chapman standing over them. Benim tezim adam bastonla ama bunun ikisini niye vurdu onu bilmiyorum. Vurdu öldürdü. Yukarı çıkana kadar polis geldi pencerede cam karanlıktı. Sonra da buraya çıkıp aşağıya baktı. Diye saçmaladım bilmiyorum. Gel bakalım mutfak bıçağı. This kitchen knife is quite sharp. Süpürüntü parçalanmış kağıt. There are pieces of shredded paper scattered over the table. This kitchen knife was used to cut the paper. Şöminedeki kağıtlar mı? Adamı şimdi çapraz sorguya alacağım az kaldı. Şömini attığı kağıt, burada kestiği kağıt. Daha ilk CS'de ben bu adamı içeri atarım ya. The books on this shelf are in a mess. It looks as though Mr. Turner was trying to find something in a hurry here a short while ago. Ee, nereden biliyoruz ki? Ah ah. Kötü son. Odun parçasını birleştir, incele. A perfect match. So, Mr. Turner broke his stick when it became stuck between the cobblestones. He did not mention that he was so near to the victims. E tamam da bu çok basit oldu sanki. Bir gir bakayım şuraya. Adam öldürmedi adam yanlarında mı durdu acaba? Yar şey mi yardım mı etti? Mr. Turner was roused from his bed by the sound of gunshots. Efe bastıyor. Ha. Burada ne yapıyor? Önce alıyor mu en son mu geliyor? Tamam dur bak. Acaba bu adamın borcu mu vardı? Şey kağıtları yaktı. Şimdi şunu al. Bunu ne yapıyoruz? Bu bir. İki. Yeşil olunca doğru mu yapmış oluyorum? Bilmiyorum. Aşağı indi. Aa yok. Hayır hayır hayır hayır sıfırla. Ee, 
Bence bu adam suçlu değil. Yataktan kalktı silah sesini duydu. Ama silah sesini Ne yapıyor lan burada? Aşağıya bir şeyler atıyor gibi sanki. Allah Allah. Bir saniye ya. Yataktan kalktı. Yataktan kalkma da düzmece olabilir. Sıfırlı. Yataktan kalkıyor. Bastonunu alıyor. Niye silah seslerini duyuyor? Cama çıkıyor. Dur. Yataktan kalktı. Cama gitti. Hala bastonuyla beraber. Tamam cesete gitti. Cesetten kağıtları aldı. Kağıtları aldı. Sonra onları yaktı. Sonra da bastonu sakladı. İzle bakalım. Evet kağıdı alıyor ve baston kırılıyor. Ama bunun ondan haberi yok herhalde. didn't happen this way. Hayda, öyle olmadı diyor. En son mu pencereye çıktı? Ya bu pencereden bir şeyler atıyor gibi ya. Ne yaptın lan manyak? Bastonunu alıyor, silah sesini duyuyor. Uzan pencereye gitmiyor. Ces Direkt cesete gidiyor. Bunu alıyor. Ateşe fırlatıyor. Yok. Elinde ama bunları yaparken şey yoktu. Demin benim yaptığım doğruydu herhalde. Sıfırla. E, yataktan kalktı. Camı açtı. Cesete gitti. Ondan sonra bunu aldı. Kesti. Yaktı. Hızlı sarıyorum. Çünkü elinde şey yok, baston yok. Vaha so doğru. Mr. Turner used a book to hide an object that he found on Kenneth Butler's body. The question is, what did he find? Ha, burada bir şey daha var. Ne? 
I can see prints from greasy fingers upon the cover of this book. Let us take a closer look. Well now, what a find. A precious jewel concealed inside a book. A bracelet with a unique ram's head design. A distinctive feature of ancient Grecian artifacts, probably of the Hellenistic era. Ee, adam öldürmemiş, hırsızlık yapmış. Sene de bir karakola çekelim. Mr. Turner, how would it be possible for a man of advanced years, such as yourself, to rush from his bed to the window in a matter of seconds, as you have stated? Well, I'm, I'm able to move very quickly, despite my age. And when the situation requires it, Mr. Holmes. Dur, dur. Çok hızlı yürüyebilirsin. Peki toparlama? Durum gerektirdiğinde yaşıma rağmen çok hızlı hareket edebilirim. Toparlamak. Doğru. I highly doubt that, Mr. Turner. I observe that you suffer a severe limp due to your injured right leg. Çünkü savaş gazisi. It would have taken at least 10 seconds for you to approach the window. That means you could have easily missed something or someone in Half Moon Street during that time. You're right, Mr. Holmes. I could have missed something. But it did seem to me that everything happened so quickly. Oh, time can pull tricks on you. And what of everything else that you told us? Mr. Turner, it is vital that we have your complete and true statement. Mr. Holmes, I do assure you that the other things I said were most sincere. Yalan. Kapı anahtarı. Turner'ın çelişkisi. Mr. Turner, you were not sincere with me. Not then and not now. But, but, but Mr. Holmes... This, Mr. Turner, does not look like anything that a poor man might possess. It is worth more than the home that you live in. I, I can explain. No, merely correct me if I am wrong. You saw Leighton Chapman through the window. But you also noticed a glittering object on the ground. This precious jewel. You walked down and took the bracelet from the body of Kenneth Butler. And when you heard the whistles, you hurried away. That broke your walking stick. It caught fast between the cobbles. Constable Marrow was unable to see you in the window as you were climbing up the stairs on your way back to your flat. Upon returning home, you hid the precious jewel inside a book. Mr. Holmes, please don't send me to prison. I didn't do anything bad. I'm just Dediğim a poor gibi, man. Katil, when I chanced upon the bracelet, I saw it as an opportunity to make a little money. I was desperate. I only took the bracelet, that's all I swear. You made a mistake by lying to me. But you are not a criminal. I believe that. Although I must return this bracelet to its rightful owner. Adamda bir şey olduğu belliydi ama bu suçlu bu değil. I wish this crime had never happened, Mr. Holmes. Şu yazı falan bir şey var mı? Yok. Odasında başka bir şey var mıydı? Hiç bu taraflara gitmedik. Yok. Mr. Holmes, did you see my brother at Scotland Yard? Is he all right? Daha henüz gitmedik dostum. Ne yani burada sokan diğer tarafı. Aa burada izler var. T'ye mi basıyorduk? 
Buradan bir şey sürtülmüş. Ama şu an aktif değil. Bariz a yok burada da var. Cık. Yemedi. Dedim buradan biri bir şey mi yapmış ama. Hmm. This mirror is turned towards Half Moon Street. Mrs. Powell? What do you want? My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the crime that took place this evening. Well, I've already gave my testimony, but very well. Could you tell us everything that you may have seen or heard? Yes, yes. I was selling my flowers as usual, and then the fireworks began in honor of Queen Victoria. I enjoyed those. But then, all of a sudden, a young lad ran out of Half Moon Street and stopped just by me. He had a gun in his hand. He was like a ghost, and all covered in blood. It was dark, but I could see him, because of the flashes from the fireworks. And then? I screamed as loud as I could. I knew that a policeman should be on duty in the vicinity. He had no time to escape. Two constables got him. Then another constable came out from the very same street. And I heard him talking of a horrible murder. Mrs. Powell, did you hear the gunshots? I'm not sure. You know, what with the fireworks? Did you see anyone else leaving Half Moon Street prior to or at the time of the crime? No, sir. I did not. Even with all the fireworks, I was very attentive, as I'm always on the lookout for customers. My thanks to you, Mrs. Powell. Olay mahalleni incele ve tanıklarla konuş tamamlanmış. Such a young man and already a murderer. Kilitli. Burada da kilitlidir. Locked. Locked. Bu tarafa gidebilir miyiz? Yok bu kadar. Tam bu kadar yerde kimse yok. Hmm. This mirror is turned towards Half Moon Street. O zaman karakola mı gideceğiz? It would be my pleasure to assist you with your investigation, Mr. Holmes. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Yine her şeyi benim üstüme attılar. Kağıdın bilekliği incele ve yarım ay sokağında nasıl geldiğini keşfet. He. Bileklik var elimizde. Ee, şu çocuğun da sorgusunu yapalım. İlk bölümü bitirelim. Bakalım ne diyecek. Mr. Holmes, whatever brings you here so late at night? I am interested in the case of young Leighton Chapman. He was arrested earlier this evening and accused of a double murder. I beg your pardon? That case is quite clear to the police. Or are there any new facts that we don't know about? <laughs> Who knows, Inspector? Look, you are free to investigate, of course, Mr. Holmes. Chapman was arrested with a revolver in his possession which you can find in the evidence room. The suspect himself is in custody. Did you find anything else on his person? A few personal belongings. Nothing particular, Mr. Holmes. Thank you, Lestrade. Gidelim bakalım.
Mr. Holmes. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good evening, <gasps> Mr. Chapman. Who are you? I've got nothing to say. It's all a mistake. Calm down, Leighton. I have come here to help you. To find out if you truly are innocent, as your younger brother Wiggins has told me. My brother? You know him? Then that means you're... Sherlock Holmes. Oh, blimey. All right, Mr. Holmes. I I'll tell you everything. Good. Tell me your account of what happened. I left my work, and I hurried up to see the fireworks in Whitechapel. I was late, so I decided to cut through off Moon Street. I saw the first fireworks light up in the sky. I bumped into a constable on a corner before entering Half Moon. And then suddenly, what with all the firework flare, I saw two men. They were both lying flat in the middle of the street. I stopped where I was. I, I thought about turning back to the police, but as I was thinking of that, I saw a third person. He was leaning over the body that was furthest from me. The second I saw him, he raised his head and he stared at me. In a flash, I saw his gun, but he made a dash for it instead and he escaped through Whitechapel Street. So you might still have had time to return to the constable. I panicked. I, I didn't know what to do. Anyway, I, I approached the bodies just to see if they were still alive. I saw that one had blood pumping out of his stomach. He was dying. It was horrible. The second one was already dead. He had a hole in his head. He was holding a gun in his hand, though. I took it. And then I followed oh, the third I man. Oh, uh... Bravo. Interesting. Pray continue. I turned a corner, and I saw the man standing in the middle of the street. He seemed to be in some, some sort of panic. And then, Mr. Holmes, something strange happened. I told the police, and they laughed at what I said, but I swear to you, my words are true. I started running towards him. But then I was blinded by a flash. It was so bright that I hardly saw anything for a good dozen seconds. But I kept running forward. As I arrived in Whitechapel, I heard a woman screaming. And then I was caught by the police. But there wasn't a trace of that man. Of course, then they found a gun and all that blood. I couldn't see the murderer escaping and all that mess. Perhaps I was still half blinded at that moment. Bunun elinde de şey var. Dövme var hapishane dövmesi. Layton, are you able to describe the person whom you saw standing in Half Moon Street? Well, I wasn't able to see his face at all. It was too dark and he was too far away. I could see his silhouette. Hmm. And what about that? Nothing so special. He was wearing a jacket. He was quite average in, in size and his weight. I see. Was there anything else that struck you at the time? No. But perhaps... It's strange, but... I can't remember the sound of his footsteps as he was running away. Perhaps it was because of the fireworks or, or the surprise of me seeing him. Gel bakalım, senin elindeki şeyi gördüm ben. Hapishane şeyini. Sokakta büyümek. Gözde mor. Öfkeli. Leighton, I confess I am puzzled. Why should a young lad like you take a gun from the hands of a dead man and set off in pursuit of a probable killer? I oh, know. I keep wondering that, but at the time it was it was like a reflex. A criminal ought to be arrested, and he was armed. You were willing to risk your life. That was a little foolish, unless you wanted revenge. No, Mr. Rams. I was just being brave and stupid. Şey için diyecek. 
I'm sure that you were, but I believe that you may have recognized one of the victims, Brian Vacotti. You knew that gentleman well, did you not? How? However could you know that? You have a typical tattoo of the Westgate Brotherhood upon your hand. I observed exactly the same mark upon Mr. Vercotti. You came to know him from your sharing a past prison sentence. Am I correct, Mr. Chapman? Oh, God. You're right, Mr. Holmes. Uh. Would you tell me a little about Brian Vercotti? We were convicted for a robbery. Once in prison, both of us joined one of these fraternities. During that year, we tried to help each other out, you know? Now, you were quite young then, I believe. Yes, Mr. Holmes, we were. We'd only stolen a pound of meat. After we were released and when I saw what my little brother had become, I decided to work towards living an honest life. And Vercotti? He had a hard time. His sister had died in a Whitechapel dispensary while he was in prison. He had no family anymore. Our path split. He fell back into crime. So you lost him? Yes. And for around two years, I heard no news of him at all. We shall see you soon, young man. Evet. Burada bırakalım arkadaşlar. Sonra yine olaylar üzerinde konuşuruz, toparlamaya çalışırız. Çünkü burada şimdi bayağı bir şeyler çıktı. İşler karıştı, benim de kafam karıştı. Çocuk şeyden e, arkadaş çıktılar ama nereye bağlanacak konu merak edici. Bir sonraki bölümde görüşürüz arkadaşlar. Kendinize iyi bakın. Hoşçakalın.